What's going on guys? I'm Bizra aka Bizra Hacks. Today we're going to talk about harvesting and crow fall. I'll show you what harvesting looks like and we'll talk about why it's so freaking addictive. Today, let's talk about it and let's get right into it. The first thing I want to show you guys is harvesting wood. Harvesting wood is so important because it's what you use for all of your gathering tools and for your basic equipment. So you need to get right into wood at first. Now harvesting wood is easy. All you have to do is equip an axe, walk up to a tree, and chop it. And as the tree goes down, you'll see delightful little loot drop on the ground. Gather it up, head to the next tree, and continue chopping away. over here. The next harvesting material I want to talk about is ore. Ore may be harvested from ore veins with a pick. Again, equip a weapon, swing away, and collect those precious little balls. over here. Another thing I'd like to mention is you have an ultimate for harvesting. As you harvest you collect pips and you can use those pips to gain specific buffs. The buffs granted by the number of pips is shown in your menu and it gives you a significant buff when you're harvesting. To use this buff simply hit Q and smack away at your tree. My basic attack was doing 125, and then it switched down to 86 when the buff was gone. Pretty much gives you a short little buff, depending on the number of pips, and then you can use it to gather quicker. A little bonus that we'll find around the world are some mushrooms or other things on the ground. It's easy to harvest, simply walk up to it and press F, Woo, and collect all the fun. <laughs> Another harvesting resource that we have in Crowfall is stone. Stone may be harvested from rocks with a hammer. Simply equip a hammer, walk up to it, click and collect. Oh yeah! The last harvesting resource I want to talk about today are hides. Hides can be harvested from dead animals with a knife. Again, simply equip a knife, walk up to a dead animal, and start skinning. You'll see as the progress bar ticks down, your hide's dropping away. And then collect them to make some sweet gear. There is one more item you can get from harvesting, and that's body parts. Uh, body parts are considered more advanced harvesting and only used for necromancy, so it's not something I'll be covering today. Uh, that subject really is a whole nother video, and necromancy is a beast in itself. And we'll talk about that another time. But I did want to at least mention it so people weren't crazy. The last thing that I want to mention is as you're harvesting goods, you'll expose weaknesses in whatever you're harvesting. So as you're chopping away, or, oh, <laughs> damn axe. As you're chopping away, or as you're gathering things, you'll notice these little targets. And if you hit them, You'll get crits on whatever you're trying to get, and pretty much if you smash it, you'll do extra damage. I find harvesting this game crazy addictive. I think there are two main reasons for this. One, it's interactive. You need to hit the bullseye for huge hits when you're gathering, and you need to use your ulti when it's up. Also, number two, loot is exciting. It kind of flies out everywhere as you're gathering. You have to run around and grab it, it kind of reminds me of a kid at a parade, gathering candy. It can be tedious, but I don't know if harvesting will ever get boring for me. I do appreciate you guys tuning in for the video today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit a like or subscribe. We appreciate both. 
and have fun in Crowfall. I'll see you guys there.